Director General, dear Dominique, uh, Mrs. Bratton, Diana, um, fellow uh, guests, um, local uh, representatives and uh, visitors, and of course, very importantly, the staff who work here on this, the third biggest European Commission site after Brussels and Luxembourg. I'm very pleased to be back on such a special day and I'd like to express my thanks to the Italian authorities who provided this beautiful weather for us to celebrate a very important day here. Um, as Dominique said, um, we expect to have well in excess of 10,000 visitors uh, on site uh, exploring uh, what the Joint Research Centre does here uh, during the course of the day. My last visit, as you will recall, to ISPR was with President Barroso in March of last year uh, when he inaugurated the Crisis Management Laboratory. And this is, as those of us who were there that day know, it's a state-of-the-art facility where skilled uh, JRC scientists do very vital work uh, to improve our resilience to the ever-growing frequency and intensity of natural disasters. The President at that time and myself also had the opportunity to see some of the other very important work that the Joint Research Centre does, in particular on models of the European banking sector and sovereign debt in Member States. The economic stakes, as we all know, could not be higher, and the high quality and independence of the JRC's work in this area is widely acknowledged. The President's visit underlined the importance that he and all of us as members of the European Commission attach to the JRC's role as the Commission's in-house science service. Today, I'm very pleased that thousands of visitors can see for themselves how the JRC helps to promote growth, jobs and innovation, promote a healthy and safe environment, consumer protection and energy, secure energy supplies. Visits to unique laboratories, practical demonstrations, exhibitions and discussions allow our experts to showcase the science behind European policy making in many areas from agriculture and global food security to resource efficiency and of course public health. JRC scientists are here to explain why and how every day they work to develop models and scenarios to access and assess policy options, to analyze satellite images to predict the next big flood, test emissions from all types of vehicles, or shake full-size three-story buildings under earthquake simulation. La Scienza per te, science for you, is not only the perfect motto during the European Year of Citizens, but it is actually put into action by JRC staff today through interactive experiments, activities and attractions for all age groups. We want our visitors to get involved, to ask questions, to do experiments for themselves and to go home with a much better understanding of the work the JRC does to improve people's everyday lives. It has become a tradition at ISPRA to open the site to visitors at the beginning of May to celebrate Europe Day. The, U the Open Day was organised back in 1992 and involved 300 visitors. And since then, as we know, the visitor numbers have steadily increased and the Open Day now has become a really popular occurrence, not only for our near neighbours in the province of Vereza, but families from all over northern Italy and indeed beyond. So the ISPRA Open Days are now so popular that we have been receiving inquiries about registration, as I understand it, for many months. In 2011, we welcomed 10,292 visitors. And this year, as I said earlier, we we're expecting an even greater number than that amount to join us, for, join us for this day of curiosity and exploration and discovery. And if as I was walking earlier on through the site and now coming up uh, from um, having a cup of coffee with Dominique and the team, it was obvious that already there are you know, over 6,000 people who have already uh, arrived on the site. So I hope that you'll have a really enjoyable time in a very exciting research environment. These open days are very important uh, to the JRC. 
we're very keen to show that our scientists' important work is relevant to real people in their daily lives. And we have a particular focus on young people, as you'll see here today. Europe, I believe, needs much more young scientific talent if we're going to boost our economies, if we're going to tackle issues like climate change, public health and energy. Europe needs one million new researchers by 2020. So encouraging young talent, girls and boys, is a must. And I think that when you meet our enthusiastic team of experts today, I think you'll agree that science is no longer about old men in white coats. Apologies to all of the uh, men present. <laughs> our open days are showcase events, of course, for the public, but every year the JRC's ISPRA site also hosts over a hundred groups from a variety of backgrounds, from students interested in earthquake engineering to politicians who want to learn about the JRC's scientific advice for policymakers. So last year, Dominique Ristori and I decided that it was time to build a dedicated visitor centre. And this lovely new structure will accommodate individuals and groups to give them an overview of all of the JRC's activities and to explain the JRC's role at the European uh, Commission, particularly as the European Commission's in-house uh, science service. It's also home, of course, to the JRC's Omniglobe, when it's not being used at scientific and outreach events in other parts of Europe. The globe has become a real centerpiece for exhibiting JRC's worldwide activities in areas like climate change, energy, transport, agriculture, food security, and the management, of course, of land and sea resources. After just seven months of intensive work by a very dedicated team here at ISPRA, I'm delighted to officially open this really impressive new visitor centre today. What we can see from the outside is pretty impressive, and I know that you're all as curious as I am to see what it's like inside. So you're very welcome. Delighted that you're all here, and I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you.